Shalom, brothers and sisters. Yes, I am delving through the book of Psalms with you today. And uh, I'm doing this before we jump into the multitude of stories and end time signs and everything else that lies ahead for us. Because our focus, our starting point, our middle point, our end point, our constant point should be God, relationship with God, and the Word of God. Everything else compared to that is noise. So just go with me through Psalm 2. The Messiah's triumph and kingdom from verse 1. Why do the nations rage and the people plot a vain thing? The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed, saying, Let us break their bonds in pieces and cast away their cords from us. He who sits in the heavens shall laugh. The Lord shall hold them in derision. Then he shall speak to them in his wrath and distress them in his deep displeasure. Yet I have set my king on my holy hill of Zion. I will declare the decree the Lord has said to me. You are my son. Today I have begotten you. Ask of me and I will give you the nations for your inheritance and the ends of the earth for your possession. You shall break them with a rod of iron. You shall dash them to pieces like a potter's vessel. Now, therefore, be wise, O kings. Be instructed, you judges of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. Kiss the son, lest he be angry, and you perish in the way, when his wrath is kindled but a little. Blessed are all those who put their trust in him. Jesus. That's just such a beautiful, powerful, inspiring, prophetic psalm. And it speaks of so many things. It speaks how these people plot vain things. It speaks about how God laughs at them. How he pours out his wrath in displeasure. How he raises up his king, Yeshua, that will rule with a rod of iron the nations. That people had better understand and bow down to him and come to their senses very quickly. And blessed are all those who put their trust in him. I, Sholto, put my trust in him and him alone, always. God bless. Shalom.